This is a review of three different devices uh, made to waterproof a Note 4. It could also be used for the um, S4 or S6, I suppose. The size would probably fit. Um, they vary in price. This one's about 10 to 12 to 24. This one's only available in China through order. Um, because it is recent technology, it has a harder side. Uh, actually, a much better seal. Um, See the silicone bead around there? It uh, goes all the way around. The only problem with this one, major problem, grouch about it, is that uh, this front um, plastic material is extremely thin. It's, it's like um, a stretchy cellophane, which is really, really a disappointment because if it was made out of a harder plastic like these, it would have been a perfect device. Uh, it does have clamp seals on the side. Um, I don't know the brand name of this one, it kind of is a no-name from China. As I said, recent technology comes in a plastic box with this uh, card with very poor grammar, so obviously it wasn't from China. Um, <laughs> they have different cultural norms than we do. If you want to pause this and read that, it's a good laugh. Um, this case comes folded in this box. Um, the problem with that is that it kinks the corners. If uh, it's in the box too long, it may compromise the plastic integrity. I bought this one because I believe this was a silicone bead that would seal the edges. It's no better than this one. It's basically just laminated plastic. This is a trim that's decorative only. This is superior in one respect. It has a, almost a Ziploc-like connection right here, which may lock the water out better. This is just flat plastic inside. Um, so you'll see these under different brand names with the same clamp styles. They're probably made at the same factory, so I would recommend this type of clamp style um, or this case. But uh, this one, I don't think it would seal very well at the top. I did waterproof all, water test all of these with uh, paper towel. They all did hold. I didn't trust my phone in any of them. Um, this comes with a, a cheaper rubber strap, which may break under the sun. This is uh, more of a nylon weave, and it comes with a shoulder strap as well. But that shoulder strap would probably stretch the material and rip it. It's dangerous if you used it too much. Uh, they all do fit a Note 4. These two fit a Note 4 with a rubber sleeve that I have on there, rubber casing sleeve. Um, they do fit inside comfortably. It does not fit in there with that. You have to take it out of the rubber sleeve and just put the phone in there, which is why I didn't use it because of that thin rubber membrane on top. I didn't trust it. Um, what I actually did do is take the plastic that this thing was delivered in, um, sealed the tape around it, electrical tape, high quality, this plastic is very translucent, so basically the video worked through here and the case, um, which they all have relatively clear window for the matches up with the 04. Um, the problem with uh, all of them is that you're risking an expensive phone with um, basically very cheap plastic seal, and you have to have the trust in the integrity of that. Uh, what I recommend is probably if they do improve this one um, with a harder plastic front then it'd be perfect. So far that's not available. Uh, I was going to actually take the rubber sleeve, put some high grade scotch black electrical tape in there to seal the portholes, except for the camera port of course, and uh, then slip that inside the case, so if any water did get inside, it would be unlikely to compromise the perimeter of the phone. Um, hopefully that helps you. I wouldn't recommend any of these, to be honest with you, with uh, an expensive phone. Unless you have an older phone that you're willing to take chances with, it's not really worth it at the present um, time. If you just wanted to protect it from water in a boat or something, this one's great. Uh, just strap a strap on there. This one doesn't have anywhere to strap a strap, so that's a problem with it, and it's got that flimsy front. Uh, they all are not really um, suitable in the sunlight because the Note 4 itself, in bright sun, you can't see the screen. What happened was I ended up turning the camera on first, uh, guessing where the on and off was for the um, photography or for the movies, and then uh, taking a chance. I didn't use it in the water. I used it around the water, surface of water, and I brought it into the water, under the water, even though I have tested these with paper towels and they were, all were uh, waterproof with very minimal depth and no wave action or anything like that. Uh, hopefully that helps. This comes with a, that arm strap, I never used that. 
Um, they all seem to be okay. I think in the sun they get pretty soft. This one's the softest. This one's a much firmer. And this one's got that awful front, unfortunately, because it's a great design. Uh, it should be available widespread probably in a few months. Hopefully that helps you all. Thank you. Um, I also got this uh, floating thing, which is pretty good for 10 bucks. The only problem is that this plastic clamp is so cheap. I had to put a ring on there through the... Uh, through the base instead because I didn't trust it with a good quality alligator clip. It really clipped on well onto all of these devices, so in case you drop your phone while you're in the water. Uh, this one's most likely to float as well. It's got air in it. These aren't. Um, so I, I did want to have this, but this I wouldn't trust. The wire is fine, but the clamp itself is so, so cheap plastic is dangerous. Okay, hopefully that helps you. Um, I believe they're all made in the same factory or similar factories. You'll find different brand names in the U.S. In Canada, with those types of clamps, you can tell the make by the clamp. They're all the same from what I've seen. Because I saw a lot of these down south for sale. Uh, do not get the roll-up top kind that the plastic just rolls over in the Caribbean. Uh, those do not seal properly. They probably won't hold the water. Okay, thanks. Bye-bye.